Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I am Ayuba Ilya. Thanks for joining. Here's the news in brief. Troops of Operation Forest Sanity have rescued 16 people who were kidnapped by bandits during operations spanning Biriningwari Kaduna Road in Biriningwari and Igabi local government areas of Kaduna State. The State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Ruan, disclosed this in a statement on Tuesday, saying the troops responded to a distress call along the Udawa Manini axis of the Brenningwari Kaduna Road, during which they foiled the attack and rescued 16 persons in the process. The, Kaduna, the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, has said that the recent release of three redesigned Naira nodes has somehow reduced kidnapping and ransom taken by armed men. The CBN governor, who spoke after the Apex Bank's monetary policy meeting, in Abuja on Tuesday also said that there is no going back on its January 31, 2023 deadline for the validity of the old 200, 500 and 1,000 Naira notes. U.S. President Joe Biden called Tuesday for Congress to act quickly to ban assault weapons as California reeled from two deadly mass shootings in less than 48 hours. A group of senators on Monday reintroduced a federal assault weapons ban and legislation that will raise the minimum purchase age for assault weapons to 21. And in sports news, Bayern Munich uh, forward Sadio Mane returned to training on Tuesday as the Senegalese international continued his recovery from a leg injury which forced him out of the World Cup. In a video published on the club's Twitter page, Mani appeared on the snow-covered pitch at Munich's uh, Sabera Strass uh, training ground, telling the cameras, hey, that's quote, hey, it's a good feeling after a long holiday to be back, end of quote. And that's it on Trust News Summary. Watch more via all our social media platforms and also on our YouTube live stream. I am Ayuba Ilya. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.